Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 874. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 874 to 875, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to do lookup rounding. Now, this is 874. Back in 873, we did lookup rounding, but here, what we did is we had a first column in a lookup table where the increments were all the same. So our solution was when we were looking up 1.95, we needed to get to the, the uh, number here that was closest. Obviously, it's closest to 2. So we did M round and rounded to the nearest 0.25, because the increment between each, num each one of these numbers is 0.25. That allows us to jump to that 2 and then find it. If we didn't have the M round, we saw how to do it with the round. And then, of course, we return this value. Now in 874, we're looking up 1.6, but the increments are not the same between the numbers. So we're going to have to change our approach. Now, I couldn't figure this problem out how to do this, and so what did I do? I posted to the Mr. Excel message board, and Marcelo Branco uh, posted a great solution. So the, the idea here is we want to look this up, right? We, they're, the increments are the same, so instead of uh, thinking of it as a straight lookup, we're going to think of it as a, a difference. So if we could compare this number to each one of these and get the distance, because our goal is to get to the closest number. So this 1.6 is in between these two. And we want it to jump to 1.7. So if we could take this number and subtract every one of these in a first column, we could get the differences and we could look up the min. So let's just simulate that here. I'm going to say look up this particular value, F, F4 minus the score. Now we're going to get some negatives, and we don't want those. We want, because if we said the min, it would pick this uh, minus 3.4. So we really want the distance from 0, so we'll use the absolute value, abs function. So if we could have this first column, right, when we were looking up 1.6, ah, there's the smallest difference. So that's the number in the first column of the lookup table that's closest to that. All right, I'm going to keep this here just so we can look at it. That's our, our we're in essence going to create an array like this inside of our formula and look up the min. That'll give us the position, and then we'll return our rate. So let's go ahead and do that. What we did over there in the first column in our formula, I'm going to say the ABS of this, whoops, minus. And we'll lock this range right here. So this will always give us, as we copy down, a different first column uh, to look up. So if I hit F9, you can see we get our, our values. So that 0 0.09999999 is that 1 right there, Control-Z. I'm going to copy that because I'm going to use it again. What I really want, the lookup value, is the min of that. So if I highlight that and hit F9, you can see there it is. It found that value right there. Now we need to find the position of that. Control-Z, match. There's the lookup value. Now, th this is an operation on an array. So this is an array formula. And we'll eventually have to do Control-Shift-Enter uh, to tell Excel this is an array formula. But that's our lookup value. That's a single value. So comma and the lookup array. That and notice what's beautiful about this is as you copy it down, the first column of a, the um, virtual first column will change as we copy it down. Now, notice the sort on this is how you usually see tables. And that's going to cause some trouble, and we'll come back to that in just a moment. I'm going to say comma and look up an exact match. All right, so if we highlight this and hit the F9 key, it gives us 1, 2, 3. So far, it's looking pretty good, right? That is That gives me the position, Control-Z. So then I'm going to say use the index function. The column I want is this, F4, comma. So this blue range right here are the values we're going to look up. The match delivers the 3. 
one, two, three, so that's the third value, and that is the value we want for this 1.6. I'm going to come to the end. That's the row number. Close. This requires the key strokes, Control, Shift, and Enter. If you don't, if you just hit Enter, it gives you uh, an error. Control, Shift, Enter. Now I'm going to copy it down. Now we're going to have a little problem here, and it comes from this value right here, 1.45. 1.45 is exactly in between these two values. Now I'm going to change this first column here just so we can see. Notice I'm editing a formula. Even though it's locked, I can point to it and drag, and it will remain locked, and then copy it down. So what, at this position right here, the here are the min value. I mean, here are the values, the differences, the absolute values, right? So there's two of them. Yeah, that's right, because exactly this 1.45 is exactly in between there. So it's picking up uh, with an exact match. It always, when there's duplicates, it takes the first one. Now, I'm going to copy this, escape. And I'm going to do exact match right here. Control Shift Enter, double click and send it down. Oops, I have to copy it down. I'm going to show you the three possibilities of match, exact match. And then here, I'm going to change the default one uh, finds the largest value that is less than or equal to the lookup value. Control Shift Enter. This one won't work at all uh, when it's sorted. Well, it won't work at all. And then this one I'm going to change to minus 1. Now minus 1 for match, or greater than, it finds the smallest value that is greater than or equal to the lookup value. But the table has to be sorted for this to work. I'm going to Control Shift Enter. Double click and send it down. You can see with the table sorted like this, meaning remember, this is going to be our first column smallest to biggest. When there's a tie, it's not going to work. But no problem. I'm going to come over here, right click, sort. I'm going to say largest to smallest. And if you look in the, the match help under this uh, match type, minus 1, it tells you, you know, you have to have your table sorted. Now, actually, in this case, it doesn't matter match or minus 1 will return the correct value. No matter what you do, the default behavior, which is like approximate match in VLOOKUP, or 1, will it's not going to work here. But as long as you sort the table from the biggest to the smallest, either one of these will work. Now, if you do exact match compared to either 1 or minus 1, this sometimes can take a little bit uh, longer to calculate. So there might be a slight advantage here with the minus 1 for calculating speed. Oops, I forgot Control Shift Enter. All right, uh, so that is looking up a value and finding in the first column the value that is closest to it, in essence doing some kind of a rounding. All right, we'll see you next trick. Actually, next trick 7, 8, 75, we're going to combine both rounding tricks for lookup in 873 and 874 and do a two-way lookup. All right, see you next trick.